Hey everyone, welcome to Jazz TV. We're here with the president, James Hergott of Owned Entertainment. And you did a documentary called A Fight for the Troops in Mosul, Iraq. How did you get involved? Rick Lee and I uh, were fellow filmmakers that worked on this project. Uh, we got uh, an opportunity after uh, working on a show called MMA Worldwide. Monica Sanford uh, contacted us and her husband is in the military and she had been working for several months uh, putting on the first uh, live events that's an MMA fight in an active war zone. The whole concept being that these guys are on day to day going out and, and performing missions and they don't really get something like a live event to really participate in. And um, a lot of the troops are huge MMA fans, so the whole concept was to bring MMA to them. So filming in an active war zone must have been pretty intense. How was that for an experience? You know, it was an experience overall like that was just insane. I mean, it was life changing. Um, first of all, uh, you had to wear a bulletproof vest. Uh, you would hear mortar fire. It's kind of scary when they hand you all this equipment and you hear gunfire and stuff. But you, you, I felt safe that I had so many people around me, the troops and everything around me. So, And second, it really made you appreciate what you have because um, you couldn't drink the drinking water, for example. And like I brushed my teeth with the water thinking whatever stupid thing I was thinking, I think it was okay and I got sick, you know, just because there's parasites or whatever in the water. So. And then, of course, putting on the actual event was a whole other thing. And what was really insane about that is we put on the live fights. We had something like 3,000 troops show up. Now, this isn't on a, like a base. This is basically out in the middle of nowhere, just set up with a ring and the hills instead of any kind of seating or anything like that. And I'd never seen such an enthusiastic crowd. I mean, it was just, it was kind of like they've never had anything like that or anybody bring that. And then um, afterwards, the fight had just ended and there was actually people that had fought and they got the call like you have to go out now and they had to put on their suits get their guns and go out on a mission like you know a half hour after the fights and some of these guys you know had the black eyes and everything and they and it, again like obviously fighting in a fight you know there's risk there's all that kind of stuff but it's still a contest it's not life or death you know so it puts things in perspective what these guys really have to put on the line when they go out there. And do you think that filming in Iraq has changed you in regards to producing uh, future films? Yeah, I think that um, little things that would kind of bother me before I kind of let slide just because, um, again, when you see what the troops are doing, uh, you feel like a baby if you want to complain about like, oh, you know, I have to film all day long or whatever. It's like, whatever, you know, so especially going to a place like Iraq, it's a very historic place and there's been a lot, you know, and just seeing the history that is there, you realize that, you know, we're not the first people here on earth. It, it, it adds more depth to like when I'm writing and stuff like that to think, okay, it's not just about my experience. A lot of people in this world have. Um, different experiences and a lot of people in the past have had different experiences and it just kind of opens your eyes to um, to the world out there and you know you, you start thinking like just whatever in your life whatever drama or whatever's going on is like a big deal and the truth is it's really not a big deal when you step back and see you know what else is out there and what what other people have to go through so. and speaking of future films what are you currently working on I'm working on a project uh, called Owned, which um, we're going to be filming in the spring here in Coburg. And um, it's a script that I wrote, and it's been very well received. And um, I did a, a feature length film in 2005 that was released, but it was very, very low budget. This is, uh, I've got a budget of $1.5 for this, so it's not huge by Hollywood standards, but for me, it's a lot to work with. Right, so. So um, to be able to, you know, have recognizable talent and, and to be able to, um, you know, have your choice of cinematographers and all these different things, it's, it's, it's a, a great thing that I'm very excited. And, and to be able to do it in my hometown and know the locations I'm going to be shooting at and stuff, it's, and, you know, I'm really excited about it. That's really great. So when and where can we see this film? Well, the film will likely be uh, released the following spring after that. It's a long process, but 
um, it's going to approximately be on 700 screens in Canada. And then we're going to have um, original artists that uh, represented uh, Never Back Down and a bunch of big movies represent it for um, U.S. distribution. So. And so to wrap things up, if people want to keep up to date on your work, where can they go? Well, there is an ownentertainment.com, but now we've started ownentertainment.ca. The .com is a little bit outdated because the, uh, the .ca will be where all the future projects are, and it's under construction right now. But it'll start with this first project, and then we're going to go on from there. So. Well, that's really good. Thanks so much for your time. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Thank and you. Uh, good luck with your future films.